Hi, I'm Doug, and I'd like to give you my updated solar tour. This is a 4.6 kilowatt grid tied array. It has uh, N phase microinverters. I installed it myself in 2012, and it has since paid for itself. I have no, had no electric bills since January of 2012, and now I actually get paid by the electric company. This is a sun oven, solar oven cooker. About anything you want to cook in a uh, hot pot or an oven, you can do in this. We've cooked uh, whole turkeys and chickens and roasts, cakes and cookies. Over here is a homemade solar water heater for the hot tub. It has a little 20 watt PV panel on it to circulate the hot tub water through 300 feet of PEX. And it gets the hot tub plenty hot in the summer. Solar lighting all around. This is a earth sheltered passive solar home that my wife and I designed and built. It has solar hot water, domestic solar hot water on the roof, which also has a PV panel on it to circulate the, in this case, antifreeze through a heat exchanger. And this is a passive solar greenhouse. It's got thermal mass in the form of large drums of water painted black. It has a batch water heater in it, and that's just for the greenhouse use. Over here, we have a stained glass studio. The lower panel is solar hot water for the studio and the shop. The upper panel is solar heated air, solar space heating for the studio. Over here, we have a 2017 Chevy Volt. It's an EREV, extended range electric vehicle, which means it gets about 60 miles, all electric, and then it has a small gas motor that will cut in and keep the battery charged to give you a range of over 400 miles on one tank. I really like it. It's super quiet, super efficient, very quick off the line, fun to drive, and uh, I feel really good about the gas mileage is over 100 miles per gallon if we average everything out. 